haven't done a review in a while, but it's gonna that's gonna change. There's been a lot of stuff happening in my life. New apartment, Mason got a bath, I somehow got a woman to marry me. There's very few things going on. Um, I'm gonna do a little something out of the normal. I know I usually do um, custom knives, production knives, so and so forth. Um, and, it, and most guys in the military will already tell you, uh, you gotta protect your feet, feet are the biggest thing on your thing. And that's why today we're gonna do Lalo, or Lalo Tactical, to be precise. They're boots. Uh, these ones are the eight inch amphibians. Uh, just to go over them real quick. These are a very uh, interesting hybrid of leather uh, meets ripstop meets Kevlar meets. It's an, as an everyday boot, as a tactical boot, as a hiking boot, as uh, for guys who work in police force, security, stuff like that, for who need it, you know, eat, need that eight inch high, you know, boot. Uh, this has definitely got that, that ankle support. Uh, I've been wearing these about six, seven, eight months, uh, beating the shit out of them. Uh, so here's what I got. All right. So you have a, um, there's, they have the, the name of the material, the basically short version. It's a Kevlar reinforced, uh, toe box with the leather upper. You got leather here as well. That is also matched up to a ripstop material that allows for drainage. So you can, uh, for the super high speed low drag, you can definitely throw some fins on this. They are fitted specifically for that. If you do decide to get a, a pair of these, always go a half size up. Um, that's been my uh, experience with both the shoes and the running shoes. The running shoes are super ultra light. I have a pair of those as well. Um, those would be in a later one. I have the grinders. Uh, so here's some good aspects of it. So you have the eyelets are reinforced, but they also have the ability to uh, be tied quietly. So even if you have to retie your shoes, you're good. Um, the other part I love so much about these is that I honestly only have to untie down to here. If I have to, if you have to, if I have to tie all the way up and I have to unlace all the way down, that's kind of a pain in the ass. But these ones I don't. I just gotta tie down, untie down to here. Uh, what I usually do is I tie a small knot in the end, so I never undo the laces. Uh, it's an old trick I learned in the Marine Corps. Uh, normally what I would do is I would take it, speed lace it, i.e. wrap it around once, do a bite uh, in the knot, and then just tuck it in my ankle. But the problem is you get this little welt that goes, an indentation, if you will, that goes around the ankle. It's a pain in the ass after a while, and are, you know it, it cuts out circulation. So what, the, what they did at Lalo is they added this nice little pocket, this little mesh, you know, just like in your uh, usual 700 Cordura backpacks. Uh, from like the Max Edition, uh, Hazard 4, all those companies. Uh, so they threw one of those little elastic mesh in the tongue. Uh, the tongue, as you can see in the pictures I sent up earlier, you have uh, the only easy day was yesterday, which is the truth. Um, so it folds over so I can tuck those in, fold over. I don't have to worry about if I'm running in a full sprint, if they're gonna pop out, if I'm gonna have to relay some, we're gonna hear them smacking. The other thing I really love as well is that the, behind here, this is the finger loop. Putting these on the very few, for, few, for a few times, it was a pain in the ass, and I'll explain why. Um, they're fitted specifically to be a very form-fitting shoe, and because of that, you don't have that luxury of a lot of space, but once you're in, you're in. You don't have to worry, and this is a reinforced. So you can re, I have yet to break these and I've been, I pulled on hard, uh, like to the point where I felt like they were gonna break. Um, you also have these drainage holes as well, boom, 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 that allow on both sides of the feet, on the insole, on the, uh, on your inside and your outside of your foot that allow for drainage. So if you are uh, one of those uh, guys who want to use these as a hunting shoe, because they have, a, and we'll get to that point next, but uh, they have very good uh, draining. So you don't have to worry about uh, walking around with sopping wet feet. Uh, for you guys who decide to get these uh, for other aspects like your uh, you know, uh, contracting gigs, they have a window back here. You can actually slip your uh, blood type in. So rather than write them on the shoe, you can slip it in. Um, mine, I don't do that just because I just never wanted to. And uh, it's right now it's full of dog hair. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna make these look pretty. They've been used. I'm still using them. I'm still gonna use them. Um, I have yet to change my shoes. I have actual feet problems with my right foot due to uh, surgery. They took out bones and all that stuff. So 
my foot goes dead. These things make it so comfortable throughout the whole day. Um, there's also a the quiet technology. So the way that the bottom is shaped as well as where your uh, ball your foot is and your heel, it allows for an easy transition. So you're actually not getting a lot of noise. Um, you also have these wonderful um, fast rope brakes, if you will. Uh, I have used these and not the fast rope way. Um, uh, was working uh, at a place, we had a guy, he was, we had to hold him down and he started fighting back. So um, threw, uh, threw a lock on his legs and uh, held one of his legs uh, wrapped up and then just scraped this entire part along his shin until he complied. Uh, it's a great pain compliance. I'm not saying that it's what it's for, but hey, you know, if it works, it works. It's not stupid. You also have the drain hole in the back. Uh, I don't sweat in these really. Uh, my normally my Danners, I would sweat my uh, uh, what's it called Bellevues. I would sweat these. Do not sweat. Um, like I said, these have been used. I didn't try to make them look prettier than they already are. Um, there's small issues like, and as any any uh, item goes. So I get the the loops right here are starting to come loose in some areas, but be, that's partially because they have to use a needle to go straight through the Kevlar you know and that's kind of the good thing is just, it's a slash resistant boot so metal um, or if you're in law enforcement uh, situations and you don't have to worry about too much stuff uh, puncturing the uh, toe box but you do got to worry about the upper um, it's even though it's underneath there it's still I mean it's leather um, it's not impervious the other thing is these uh, rubber bottoms the lowers they definitely have a, uh, they definitely get beat to shit, and that's not gonna be a lie. That's, I mean, that shows you right there. I, I wear these every day. Um, they come with, uh, it's a nice big box. I, I get rid of my box as soon as I get them, so but you're not gonna get any of that. They have the sizing on us. These are uh, eights, because uh, I have a small ass foot, and they fit. They fit very well. I have no complaints from them. Uh, they're great people to work with. I uh, saw them at SHOT Show, checked out their booth. Uh, they have some new, uh, I would say more of a hiking style shoe. They do have this amphibian in a, uh, not a high top, but the low top version. You also have the availability of doing the, uh, the running shoes, which are ultralights. So if you're somebody who likes marathon running and you don't want a super heavy shoe, we're talking very few ounces. They, they work very well. I'll put those up next on one of my next videos. Um, they definitely have this Achilles break in it, so it allows that it's not too stiff, but it allows flexing of your Achilles, and you, you don't have to worry about your foot being hurt as much. Um, other than that, uh, expect to see a lot more stuff coming from you guys. Uh, I got some knives coming down the road, some Kydex options from, uh, from a couple people, uh, flask stuff, flashlight stuff, uh, mag plates uh, reviews, um, some very hard to find knives uh, that were definitely not uh, ever gonna leave my uh, collection. That's for damn sure. Um, also some cigar, uh, some tobacco pipes. Um, but yeah, uh, expect to see a lot more stuff coming from me. I'm not gonna give you guys, the problem was before I was trying to do a, uh, an end date and uh, it's hard to keep up the schedule. Some stuff happened, personal stuff. Uh, I have one, I think I have one other back order review I want to do before I start getting down all the crazy new cool stuff. Um, other than that, you guys stay safe and uh, keep doing what you do.